Hi, I'm Pip Waller and this is Being Human. I'm sort of continuing the theme of the autumnal theme of grief and, all, and, um, and the lungs and breathing. So this is a little exercise which is lung meridian breathing. So the meridians come from, from Chinese medicine, Chinese uh, thinking as you, as you probably know. And uh, they are like lines of where the energy moves on the, and there's a place on the surface of the body. They've got deeper ones as well, but there's a superficial, like, like they're like roads or something that energy moves on. So the lung meridian, I'm, where's my picture? Here we go. And the lung meridian starts just below the shoulder. I'm going to show you on the skeleton in a minute here. And it goes down the outside of the arm to the thumb. On this side, it's here down the outside to the outside of the thumb. So on the skeleton, it's just below here. This, this is called the coracoid process here of your scapula. So it's just about there, just in there. And then it goes, comes down the outside, the outside of the arm, all the way to the thumb. So on, on your own body, if you feel your body, you can find your clavicle, your shoulder blade, and then you feel along to the edge. And then you'll feel, oh, there's a, it kind of can't go any further. And then you can feel just below the, the, the outside edge of uh, uh, part of your clavicle, you can feel like a hard lump. That's your coracoid process. So just in a bit from there, roughly there. It's often a bit tender, actually. You can give it a little, get a little massage. That's your beginning of your lung meridian. And then it goes uh, along here and it goes down the arm and it finishes in here, it, oops, <laughs> uh, here on the outside edge of your thumbnail, like that. Just there, just there, outside edge. Um, so the, there's an exercise for breathing with a lung meridian. The sound that you're gonna make when you breathe out is like an S sound, hissing sound. That's the sound to activate it. So you take a deep breath in through the nose and you breathe out. Again, breathing in through the nose, breathing out. Very close to your lung meridian is the large intestine, the colon meridian. Those two are the two metal officials and they're very related. So they end the lung on the thumb and the, the large intestine on the finger. So the first finger, so you, you bend your other hands down like that and point your, point your fingers, a bit like a gun, that's, Again, the theme of war and song and grief that I've been on lately. But these hands are going to be down. I've got them like this, but they're down by this, by my sides. And I, as I breathe, I'm, I'm visualizing, I'm feeling, I'm experiencing in every way I can the taking in of new energy through the nose. And then as I breathe out, I'm visualizing, experiencing the, how things are leaving the body, leaving my, my body through these meridians out. Okay, so... I've got them pointing to the ground. They're going, leaving the body into the ground. Breathing in, inspiration, inspiration, new ideas, fresh energy, fresh chi from the Heavenly Father. That's what we take in, what the lungs take in. Breathing out. Everything that's finished. So I'm not going to do it for ages. You've got the idea. Fingers in this position, both sides, the meridians go on both sides, breathing in through your nose, hands like that pointing down. You could sit down, maybe do it for five minutes or so. Breathing in, visualizing whatever way that makes sense for you, the, the inspiration, the light energy, the, the newness, the freshness that the heavenly father, that the, the chi from heaven is coming into you, your lungs are taking it in and out through those metal meridians, out anything that's finished, anything you're letting go of. Thanks for listening. I'm Pip Waller. This is Being Human. Don't forget to like if you like it and subscribe and tell your friends.